fire up your appetite. That is yes. phenomenal. Oh, whoa. This season, we're going the extra mile to bring you good taste. This is really cool. This is a great place to come. From the majestic mountains of the Big Bend, all the way to the Gulf of Mexico, to right here, deep in the heart of Texas. The cabrito is, is really good. Holy moly. I love it. We'll uncover some delicious dishes that are simply breathtaking. It hits all the flavors. Smoked chicken and waffle. You better bring a Texas-sized appetite to this party. Oh, yeah. whoa, that is rich. Very rich. Plus, is this award-winning burger the best in the country? It's already won over some superstar rappers. Woo! And all that, just for starters. We've only just begun, <laughs> right? Cheers to an all new season of Good Taste, which starts right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. Time flies when you're having fun. Welcome to our ninth season of Good Taste. Hard to believe. We thought a fitting place to start would be right here at the Alamo. The very spirit of Texas resides within these walls. This season, Good Taste taps into that spirit to bring you some of the most inspirational, unforgettable folks we've ever met. It's a culinary journey your taste buds are gonna love and your heart will never forget. The journey begins here in the Alamo City at a historic spot that's become a real polished pearl. Say hello to Karakee. Soaring like the beautiful bird it's named after, Karakee brings a lot to the table and something different. Oh, that is delicious. I like Mexican flavors, but also it felt very Texas with the barbecue and just the spices that they use. The flight pattern of the South Texas Green Jay inspired the menu here, featuring flavors as big as the Lone Star State itself. It's like our mascot. It allows us to be adventurous with what we do, the flight path of the Cherokee. From fresh Gulf seafood to rich Rio Grande Valley dishes, smoked Hill Country style barbecue, and spicy Tex-Mex from the Alamo City itself. You'll love every bite. I love that. It's a really, really good brisket. The shrimp cocktail. The cabrito is, is really good. That smoked meat gets cooked underground for 24 hours, then covered in an amazing pecan mole, topped with toasted sesames and shaved white onion. It's fantastic, Thank really you. nice. Or dive into the country fried smoked quail with corn cake and Texas caviar, drizzled with honey and salsa matcha. Muy bueno. This is what Texas Hill Country food is supposed to taste like. Dining here is a date with history, right down to every detail. So tell me about the building. So many of us remember this as Liberty Bar, right? The house has so much history. It's been so many different things in the past. Uh, Liberty Bar, the saloon. The second floor atrium feels like something out of old Havana. I feel like I'm in like Cuba. Um, I love the open ceilings, the, the greenery. So this is a very old bar with a lot of history, isn't it? Yeah, it's over 100 years old. Um, the bar itself on this side of the house is the original, uh, made of pecan wood. And then the exact same duplicate was made on this side uh, to kind of mimic it on both sides of the bar. It's beautiful. There's beauty all around in this historic space. There's also an outdoor bar called the Birdhouse. This is really cool. Yeah, I mean, who has a birdhouse like that, right? <laughs> Wouldn't you want one? Yes. <laughs> they have their own smokehouse, too, blowing smoke at amazing meats, veggies, and even items from the bar. Uh, we use all kinds of wood, mostly uh, uh, mesquite and uh, oak. We do cabrito, we do brisket, chicken. We even smoke our quail in there, barbacoa. They smoke meat in underground pits here, and they make a mean brisket rub, too. I'd say like at least 60 to 70 percent of our brisket rub is dry chilies. Here at Cherokee, Chef Jaime throws a party for your taste buds each and every day. One thing that I really love about what I do 
is that I can bring people together with food. Food does that, right? Yes. No matter what, you put food on the table and it brings people together. So. Who taught you to cook? My great grandfather. I had the pleasure of interacting with him as a child a lot and my great-grandfather had his own restaurants. As a kid, we'd be in the backyard of my mother's house and we'd be picking fruit off the ground and we'd make different jams and jellies and moles, sauces. Those early moles led to Chef Jaime's signature sauces today. Karakee has 10 house-made sauces on the menu. I love the salsa cruda, salsa verde, salsa rosada, and salsa matcha a fan favorite and mine. Whichever one you choose, your taste buds will take flight. Yeehaw! For a soft landing, belly up to the bar, where a spirit guide will take you on a refreshing journey. This is our mango nada. So, Ooh, say uh, that again. Uh, mango nada. I yeah. like the sound so, of that. Uh, and you'll love how it tastes. Mm, yes, that sweet mango, and then you've got the spice and the mm. chamon. Mm, I love that. You have to have another. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've only just begun, <laughs> right? <laughs> One of the most popular dishes here is the achiote spiced chicken, just bursting with flavor. There's a lot of love that goes into it. Oh, a whole lot of love, right? <laughs> and making the marinade is half the fun. So we're just going to take this achiote paste, lime juice, lemon juice, and then we have some orange juice as well. We probably go through around four to 600 pounds of chicken a week. <laughs> That's a lot of chicken. After some salt, this bird lands on the grill. Add some grilled onion, cilantro, and chef's signature jalapeno sauce. Voila. Mm, I love it. There's a lot to love at Karaki. The people is what makes it so special. For Chef Jaime. It's all about serving up smiles to everyone. One of my favorite things is genuine hospitality. And so the feeling of being in someone's house and how you make that person feel when they're in your home. Yeah, everyone is very friendly here. The food, the flavors, the flight of the Karakee. It's a journey you're gonna love. <laughs> Home run for your taste buds right now. We are coming to you from the beautiful Minute Maid Park in Houston with the executive chef of Goya, Fernando Deza. What a great day for a game. It's a beautiful day and a better home run with the bases loaded with all our Goya ingredients. We're making a Goya style chili dog. So first in a hot pan, we're gonna get some bacon that we previously diced. We're gonna cook it until crisp. This is not your everyday chili dog, right? No, nice and crispy. So we're gonna add some onions. All right. After that, we're going to put some Goya okay. minced garlic. This is one of my very favorite all-time products. All the so work's good. done for you. So all you do. Always the same quality, same consistency. Love it. Then after that, we're going to add the ground beef that is already seasoned. Oh, it's we're, already seasoned. We season with a Goya adobo. Can you add a little bit of the Goya cumin. comino, cumin? Now we're going to add the Goya Cubito, beef bouillon. Ah, oh, it's gonna add some nice depth yeah, of flavor. So good. Caramelized flavor. We're gonna add some Goya tomato sauce. If you can help me out, let's add some Goya honey. Honey? Oh yeah. All right, you tell me when. Uh, a little bit more. There you go. That's a new one on It's me. good, you know, with smokiness. Yeah. You just round out the whole flavor. Then after that, we're gonna add the beans. Now we're gonna add some water, bring it to a quick boil, cover it up, and cook for 20 minutes. All right, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. On top of the hot dogs, some shredded cheese and the plantain chips, super good. Mmm. Good, right? Whoa, yes. That is delicious. It's so good. Smoky and there's a little bit of that sweet, but very On the honey. subtle. Mm, I love it. We've got the recipe online. Thank you. Thank you. That chili dog is a real hit right out of the park. Still to come, get ready for brand new, fantastic fall wines in my wine finds. Then, a tailgating treat you just can't beat. They are delicious. And then that smoky chicken. Mm-hmm. 
But first, some say it's the best burger in America. That cheese was melting off the burger. I'm talking about it would make you want to slap your mama, but don't do it. Don't but it was good, though. We're saving an extra bite for you next. Get social with us. Follow us on Instagram at Good Taste TV. Cisco, at the heart of food and service. Welcome back. We Texans have a natural radar for bodacious burgers. Kind of seems to be in our DNA. Check out the long lines behind me. They're standing out here in crazy hot temperatures, waiting on what's said to be the best burger in the country. Well, you're in for much more than a thrill. Get ready for a trill. Houston, we have a burger. Probably one of the best burgers I've ever had in my life. A trill burger, that is. It is amazing. It's delicious. There's nothing more Texas than these smoking burgers. Order number 79. With hot steam rising off the grill, an army of kitchen staffers turn the wheels of trill into a burger factory like no other. And it's well worth the wait in line. The moment you step into trill, it's a multimedia experience sharing the unique sights and sounds of this Houston hotspot. I got the OG burger, and that cheese was melting off the burger. I'm talking about it would make you want to slap your mama, but don't do it. But it was good, though. The man behind this burger bonanza is none other than legendary Houston rapper Bun B. How in the world did you decide to get into the burger business? So a good friend of mine, uh, Premium Pete, and I have had a food blog now for almost 10 years. Um, deep love and passion for food. And so I was presented with the opportunity to be a part of this burger company by Nick Skirfield and Andy Wynn. And uh, once I tried the burger, I was like, I think I, wanna, I think I wanna be a part of this, you know? Trill first made a big splash as a pop-up at Rodeo Houston. The thrills continued when Trill also popped up at music festivals around the country, including Coachella. Go get your burgers, man. Since then, Trill has taken off like a space city rocket. And we literally have lines out of the door every day. Bun B is a beloved figure in H-Town, known for giving back to the community. We're Houstonians, he loved Bun B. Every time I come here, it seems like every third or fourth person is from out of town. We've had Arkansas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Delaware, Wisconsin, New York, Well, you Florida. know why. <laughs> What'd you guys get, best burger in the country? Best burger in the country, and we're living up to it. It's not just fans singing the praises of Trill Burgers. Celebrities like Mike Tyson are raving about these burgers too. But to stand outside in long lines in the Texas heat, well, some might say that's just ludicrous. Let's go. Yes, it is ludicrous. Woo! I'm Trill working the wheel. When superstar rapper Drake visited Trill, he called it the best burger he's ever had. What was it like when Drake came? It was chaos. <laughs> but it was a good experience. He sat down, he ate his burger, he and his friends. Everybody had a really great experience. You might say you can taste a little bit of hip hop in every bite. There's <laughs> not much left, <laughs> but it's delicious. Who is the beautiful woman in the photo with you by the door? Uh, that's my wife, Queenie. That is my backbone, that is my heart, that is actually the muse of Trill Burgers. I was very lucky, I married up. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, she's been here from day one with this company, helping to build it with me, and it's, it's been an amazing journey. Executive chef Fernando Valladares adds a ton of energy to this already pumped up kitchen. The best burger in America, let's go. It all begins with those heavenly beef patties. It's a two-handed smash. Push down. Got it, yep, yep. See, the difference is your bicep here and my Hello. bicep <laughs> I'm You'll just saying. This is our special trill seasoning. It does have salt and pepper in there and some other magical stuff. That magical stuff is kept top secret, but we do know where some flavors come from, like caramelized onions, sliced pickles, American cheese, and even a special trill sauce. This is our version of a Thousand Island, absolutely. And as you might expect at Bun B's place, the buns here are the best. We use Martin's potato rolls for our burgers. It's all part of building a better burger. There you go, look at that. 
saying you gotta try Eat it. Me. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. I love it. Cheers. Salute. That magic grill at Trill does not disappoint. Wow. Oh yeah. What do you think? I love it. When you guys have a special burger that you're going to share with us, it'll be a kind of a fun combination. Yep. And we'll have it online. With burgers this popular, could a Trill jingle be next? Can you give oh, us a, an idea of what something might sound like? Oh, well, I'm not really that good on the spot, but I mean, if you want a burger, this burger is Trill. Come on down yourself and figure out the deal, you know? Hey, not bad. Yeah. The season, the flavor, it's something about a good old-fashioned burger. Trill means going above and beyond, right? So we want to make sure that we go above and beyond the average burger here, and I think Trill Burger really does that. Look, y'all come try this burger. When you do, you're in for the Trill of your life. Cheers to you. Cheers, many, many you. more years of success. Thank you so much, and the doors are always open to you. Thank you. Fantastic wine finds of season nine are here. The time where every year I turn our dining room table into a tasting room office. It's a lot of fun. Today, three wines perfect for tailgating or simply sipping alongside whatever you've got on the grill. Up first, the zesty grounded Sauvignon Blanc by Josh Phelps. This light, refreshing wine, when super chilled, explodes with flavors of lime and grapefruit. As it warms in the glass, you'll get rounder tropical notes, a fantastic crowd pleaser at about $13 a bottle. Next, a Pinot Noir that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, and those are getting harder and harder to find. Well, here you go. The Sadler's Well Pinot from Santa Barbara County. This wine got my attention because it over delivers on value. This is a more delicate style Pinot, so you're going to taste the bright cherry notes with just a hint of earthiness in the mix. This wine will pair with pasta, grilled chicken, pork tenders, you name it. The Sadler's Well Pinot is about $16 a bottle. Last but not at all least, a Malbec. And I highly recommend this one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I bought six so I could get the discount. The HD Hector Durageti Malbec from Mendoza. This wine is luscious with its flavors of plums and black currants, absolutely divine. The finish has a hint of smoke, coffee, and spices. It is perfect for anything on your grill. Fajitas come to mind. The HD Duragetti Malbec is about $18 a bottle. As always, every year, I find all my wines right here at HEB. Coming up, barbecue for breakfast? I love that. Find out how to rev up your next tailgate next. We love to share good taste. Head to our website at goodtaste.tv where you'll find delicious recipes from top chefs, my latest wine finds, and restaurant recommendations. Plus, you can see all our episodes right here. Don't forget, sign up for our newsletter while you're there. Good Taste with Tangie is brought to you in part by HEB. Barbecue for breakfast. You heard that right, and we are with an expert who can do it like nobody else. We are at the original Black's Barbecue in Lockhart, Texas, and I'm with the fourth generation pitmaster here at Black's Barrett. Yeah. And this is such a fun idea because a lot of people, if they're tailgating, start earlier in the day because of daytime games. Right? That's right. Yeah, when the kickoff is at 11, that means your tailgate starts at 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. So let's start out. We're talking tortillas made with brisket fat, do I have that right? That's right, yeah, this is just an easy upgrade because uh, a lot of people get intimidated by making their own tortillas, but it's actually not that complicated. It's flour, salt, fat, and water, basically. But the fat that I used is our brisket fat. It's just drippings from a brisket. So I'll use okay. it for biscuits, I'll use it for tortillas, all, all kinds of things, so. I love that, uh, okay. If you really want to wow your guests, uh, chicken and waffles, it's been around for a very long time but traditionally it's done with fried chicken, but we're a barbecue joint, and so we're gonna use smoked chicken, smoked chicken and waffles. I love that, and I love the smoked chicken here. Okay, these are your waffles. Yes, and this is a Belgian waffle, Liège style waffle. It's more of a dessert waffle. It's kind of a biscuit with a lot of sugar in it. We'll have the recipe on the website. Basically, you just put them in here and you just flip them back and forth um, and check on them until they're ready. It takes about four or five minutes. Okay. Uh, and they'll be ready. 
And so the chicken's come off the, off the smoker, off the grill, and I've just pulled it, pulled all the bones out, chopped it up with that skin in there, and you just pile some of that on there. And so we're gonna make a maple barbecue sauce. This is my ah. grandmother's recipe barbecue sauce. Just to give it some little pops of flavor. And there you go. There, that's amazing. They will be the star at their tailgate party. That's right. I love it. Thank you. We've got all these wonderful recipes online. When visiting the Houston area, the Good Taste team loves to stay at the Best Western Plus in Katy. Conveniently located right on the I-10 corridor with easy access to all your favorite destinations. Wow, time flies. Don't forget to set your DVRs right now for a next weekend show. During football season, things change quickly with TV lineups. We want to give a huge shout out to our Houston affiliate, KPRC, Click2 Houston, where you can now catch us at a fantastic new time. Thank you, Houston, and thank all of you. We wouldn't be here without you. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletters at goodtaste.tv, where you'll get all our wonderful recipes and follow us on Instagram, Good Taste TV. Have a great week, y'all. We'll see you right back here next week. Cheers to good taste. Ooh. Hold on. I got a bone, sorry. That won't make the show. <laughs> You'll be in the, at the end in the bloopers. <laughs> it was a really tasty bone. <laughs>